Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, we're here to get messages about the person on your mind. I'm gonna get us started by pulling their thoughts and feelings about you and your connection. We'll also get some intentions out to see what their next moves may or may not be. So what is this person thinking and feeling right now? What was that? Was it the 10 of wands? Ooh, ouch, okay. Ooh, this person's been learning a harsh lesson about you. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to pick that card up in a second here. Ooh, clarify the eight of wands, please. <gasps> Somebody is thinking about reaching out to you. They've learned a really powerful lesson about you recently. Oh my goodness, you guys. Like the intensity I'm feeling with this energy is insane. Holy cow. <gasps> I'm like not wanting to spoil it until I get all the cards out. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on. And then what was that? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let me show you all the cards. Okay. So we have the Ten of Wands. We also have the Hierophant. Those two kind of came out together. So that's a message. Then we also have the Eight of Wands, the Three of Cups. We have the King of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This person learned a really harsh lesson. Maybe they walked away from you or you guys broke up. Um, whatever your situation is, you're probably not talking to this person right now. Spoiler alert, if you are, this might not be your reading because this is definitely a no contact reading, okay? Um, oh my goodness, yeah, this person, they're kicking themselves now. By walking away or letting you walk away or through this separation, they have learned so many harsh lessons. They feel this burden on them like it's all their fault and they can't take it anymore. Like the energy and the momentum is just building and building and building inside of them. They feel guilt. They feel shame. They feel remorse. Um, they feel like any type of resentments they had towards you are gone and they're now reflecting all of that energy back onto themselves. They feel like the universe has served them some kind of really intense and powerful lessons via you and this um, connection and not talking to you anymore. They're going to talk to you soon though. They're coming in with rapid communication. They want to reignite some kind of friendship between the two of you first something that's going to eventually lead to them being mature, asking you out on a date, asking you to be more than friends with them, and then eventually they want to have a future with you, okay? This is giving me like a timeline right here. I wish you could see the progression, okay? So we have the Eight of Wands, which leads into the Three of Cups, which leads into the King of Wands, which leads into the Ten of Pentacles. Now, that's a timeline of things that they're going through in their head. Keep in mind, these are just their thoughts and feelings. I will get out their intentions next, but they have like um, a timeline that they're replaying in their head over and over again, where they reach out to you. They reconnect as friends. After a little while, they're gonna make a very bold and charismatic move towards you, ask you out, make some type of romantic advance towards you because and goal for them is to have like a legacy, a happy family with you, to really build something with you. They may even want to go into business with you and start something with you in that department, but they definitely want to come back in and try to be friends with you first. So it may have been a while since you've spoken to this person and they know they have to approach this lightly. Like they cannot just come in and try to be romantic with you after not talking to you for like, months, weeks, years, whatever it's been, they know they need to start off with being friends with you first and they're planning on it, or at least in their head, they're thinking of it. Let's get their actual intentions out next to see if they're planning on taking action on their thoughts and feelings or, um, or not. Because sometimes people can fantasize, but they don't actually take action. You know what I mean? Come on now, talk to me about, there we go. They didn't flip up right though, so we're not taking those. That's my reading rule, you guys. If it doesn't flip up right, unless I have a specific calling to take it, I don't take it if it falls and it's not face up. That's just my thing, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. None of them are fall falling face up. You guys, I gotta pick those up real quick and reshuffle them back into the deck. That's so weird. But we do have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords coming out, okay? So what that's telling me 
is yes, this person is planning on taking actions on their game plan that they're thinking about right now. Um, and they are gonna come in and try to be your friend, but um, with sneaky intentions behind that. They definitely don't want to just be your friend. They have motivation behind that. They're gonna act like they just wanna be your friend. Oh, no, 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 but they definitely want to be more than your friend. <laughs> oh my gosh, and eventually they're gonna tell you the truth about that, but they're gonna come in and try to schmooze you over or something like that. Act like, oh no, I just wanna be your friend. And then no, they're gonna make a move on you, okay? And they don't wanna let you know that right away, but they will eventually be clear about their intentions with you, okay? And I feel like if they've been seeing signs and synchronicities about you, they're gonna be honest about that as well. They're gonna tell you that they've had a wake up call and that they wanna be more than friends and that they want to be with you. And they're gonna be honest with you about this, tell you about this. They're not gonna play games. At first they will, okay? They're gonna keep it a secret for a little while. They're gonna try to just be your friend and then they're gonna open that door a little bit and make some kind of crazy bold move towards you. So I don't know wild okay um anyway let's get a future outcome prediction for you to see what's likely to actually happen in this next phase of this connection okay and if you're enjoying the video so far if it's resonating and you enjoy it i would like it if you would hit the like button that helps me out and don't forget to subscribe if you do like my readings it's free and it helps my channel out win-win situation okay Yep, they just want that one card to come out. We have divine timing. Trust in the divine timing. Love arrives when it's meant to. So the next chapter is divinely timed to happen, and this is your confirmation of that. It's coming exactly when it was meant to, and you can trust in that. And I don't think they want me to elaborate on it too much because I think there are some elements of surprise that are meant to happen and I'm not supposed to spoil that. And trust me, I know that's frustrating. I know you're here to get clarity and information. Even from like a psychic reader standpoint, um, there have been plenty of times where I've literally begged my spiritual team to talk to me and give me more details and they just won't. If you're not meant to know, it's for a reason. It's supposed to be a surprise because you would not take the steps you're meant to take to get to a certain place. For example, I would not be reading cards for you right now on YouTube or in general if I had gotten information I was seeking two years ago when I first began like a, a certain portion of my spiritual awakening journey. Um, in the very beginning stages of that, I was desperately seeking information um, about certain things in my life, certain areas of my life. I was desperately seeking information. I was begging for it. I wanted it. I was pleading for it. You know, just begging my spiritual team to give me more insight than they were. Um, and they weren't. And that eventually led me to card reading and finding new ways to channel information. And if I had just been given those downloads that I was requesting, I wouldn't have learned the skills to be where I am today and do the job that I do today. For all of you beautiful folks, I wouldn't have fulfilled part of my life purpose if I had been given that information. You know what I mean? So sometimes info is withheld from us for our highest good because we have to take certain steps to get somewhere else. So if you're not having the info you want to reach you at this time, just trust that it could be happening for a reason, okay? And that God and the divine are always leading you in the right direction. Even if it doesn't make sense right now, you will eventually be able to look back with hindsight and make sense of it more often than not, okay? Anyway, let me get you out a message now. We're going to get you out a couple of messages just for you. If you like my reading style and you watch my videos on a regular basis, you have any interest in exclusive videos, I have a YouTube membership for five bucks a month. There's plenty of exclusive videos over there and access to new ones all the time. And then I also have a Patreon membership. Same goes for that, but it's $5.55 a month and they are different exclusive videos. So you can also double dip if you feel called. And that info is gonna be down below in the description box. You guys got the bat with transition. You must pay attention to the signs around you. The transition may seem frightening at first, but you must let go of old habits and patterns that no longer serve your higher calling. They would only hinder your growth. And I'm gonna hold that up in case you'd like to reread it. Hopefully it focuses on camera. 
Anyway, you guys, I am going to leave this reading here. Thank you all so much again for watching. I hope you have yourself a beautiful and blessed day, and I'd love to see you around the channel again in the future. Bye for now.